There's no stairs on that side. Yeah. You got balance. Maybe you can, you can climb if you want. But I want you to risk it. Congrats, Coach. In the 2019 UCU West Coast Conference men's basketball semifinal, Gonzaga defeats Pepperdine 100 to 74. With the win, Gonzaga will move on to Tuesday's championship game against the winner of St. Mary's in San Diego coming up. It will be Gonzaga's 22nd straight appearance in the WCC championship game. That's a crazy number. We're joined by head coach Mark View from Gonzaga along with student athletes Brandon Clark and Zach Norvelt Jr. Uh, coach, as always, we'd like an opening statement from you on the win, please. Yeah, uh, just a terrific approach uh, by the guys. We had a lot of days off, so you know, you always wonder how that uh, is going to play out. And uh, to Brandon, is this is this the type of basketball that you know you came here for that you wanted to play? March basketball, important games like this. Oh uh, yeah, it is actually. Um, you know, I uh, came here to be a, a part of a team that that has a chance to win the uh, NCAA tournament. Uh, so, um, you know, to be ranked one right now, I feel like that we have a, a really good chance of that and we're uh, set up really, really well for that right now. Uh, so I, I would say yes to your question. Other questions for student athletes? Come to Alan here in the front. We'll get a mic to you. Uh, so, uh, for both students, uh, what's your take on Las Vegas and what it's like to visit her? Um, I mean, I've been coming here for a while since AAU days, uh, so I'm, I look at myself as a vet when I'm in Vegas. So uh, just try to, you know, don't try to be on the strip a lot. You know, it's a lot of stuff going on on the strip, but you know, just trying to stay locked in and uh, look at it as a business trip as we've been doing all year. Yeah, I mean, it's something that's obviously really fun, uh, really really cool city, but obviously just um, um, trying to stay locked in. You know, not not really walking around the uh, strip, just you know, chilling in the like hotel and. Um, Kind of like I like it's it's any other city, but it's it's still Vegas though, so it's still kind of cool to be here. But I'm um, not not really treating it like it's anywhere different. Well, they did go to Top Golf. How was their, How are your games? Ah, if, that's good. Iffy, yeah, that's iffy good. for me. That's good. Other questions for Gonzaga? <laughs> Come here. Ian Davis Leonard, Gonzaga Bulletin. Uh, what was it like to have Killian back out there tonight? Brandy, you want to start with that? Yeah, I mean it was. Um, Obviously, something that was really, really big for us. I mean, he went um, three, three for uh, three from his threes. So that's some. Um, obviously, if he can come in and, and uh, uh, do that for us, that's something um, huge for us. Um, I feel like that that he's uh, still kind of like uh, getting back to the game, um, sort of. So um, I feel like that he'll be a really, really big piece for us, though, um, heading into the uh, NCAA tournament. So if, if if he can just keep on coming in and uh, uh, giving us big minutes, it'll be something really big for us. Uh, yeah, just to piggyback off what Brandon said, it's huge for us. Uh, tonight we actually played off his energy. He came in, not only made three threes, but, you know, he was aggressive, you know, uh, talking out there, getting us going, you know, him being a, a third-year guy, you know, having that experience out there, you know, always helps. And, uh, you know, just being a tough guy as well. So that's something we preach a lot, too, just being the most physical team. And Killian does a good job of bringing that to the game. Other questions for student-athletes or for Coach View? Adam? Coach, you're, you're no stranger to having impact transfers, but can you just talk about what, what Brandon has meant to the team and what he brings for you guys? Uh, hey, he's had an amazing uh, uh, two years. I mean, he was a he was an integral part of our development last year, with just you know helping us get ready for for high level games. I think he really helped Jonathan Williams out a lot, having to go against uh, him day in and day out, and Killian Tilly, and. Uh, and then also it just reinforces, um, I mean, as a coach and as a program, uh, you know, what, what works at our place. And Brandon's a, just an awesome human being who has a, has a drive and came to a place and wanted to win and wanted to get better and develop. And he's, he's, he's done that. And, and it works. He's gotten a lot better. And, and consequently, we've gotten a lot better. So uh, uh, it's definitely been a win-win on uh, that front. Let me hear the front. 
coach Willie Ramirez with the Associated Press on Killian's Thanks play for tonight. Thanks up, Willie. You look pretty sharp tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate that. Uh, on Killian's play, once you guys had the game in hand, was the idea to go ahead and rest him? He had got it. Got his feet wet, or did you already have a uh, playing time in mind of what you wanted minutes? He he really. I mean, the guys will tell you he hasn't had a ton of five on five this week. You know, we where he was live five on five hitting. And and getting after it, so he was very winded, obviously. And, and uh, I mean, that, that in my mind, that was kind of the two runs that I wanted him to have, you know. And and now we'll, we can keep building on that. And obviously, we need to see how the the uh, plantar fascia reacts to, to going tonight. But uh, it, it it sounded good after he came off the bench. But uh, that was about right, maybe even a little bit more than I envisioned, to be quite honest. Come back to Allen in the front. Uh, Alan Snell with LVSportsBiz.com. This is for Coach Few. Can you talk? I mean, talk about the Gonzaga brand after literally several decades. It's one of the signature programs in college basketball now. When you go out recruiting, talk about what it means just to have now a program that speaks for itself. Well, I mean, obviously in recruiting, it it, it helps because it is a national brand, and you know everybody knows it when you pick up the phone and talk to somebody and they know guys, you know, they'll talk about watching Zach Norvell. They'll talk about watching Brandon Clark. So uh, uh, everybody's well uh, aware of that. Uh, I think the thing we're most proud of at Gonzaga is we just have never really stood still with everything. We're, we're continually trying to to grow. And obviously with Rui this year, I think we've really grown the brand internationally now and, and uh, as well as as nationally. and, and uh, uh, you know, it's been it's been a fun run. It's been a wild. Uh, you know, what we just heard at the top here, uh, 22 times in the conference championship straight is just nuts. I mean, that's that that shows a resiliency and toughness and and just inner drive by all the players that have been through this program to you know to win and and to advance. And, and uh, I mean, some of these numbers are pretty crazy, but that's. Uh, uh, that's right up there with our continuous NCAA streak, at least in my opinion. John in the back. Yes, uh, to Brandon, can you express the feeling uh, that you have when you're on the court and things are going as well uh, for extended periods of time like you had tonight? What's what's the feeling like? Um. <clears throat> Um, um, it's a really, really good feeling. I can say that. Um, it's something that's really, really fun. Um, you know, this is um, easily the, the most fun that I've had playing basketball. So um, to be on the court and to have us all clicking at the same time is something that's really, really special. And um, it's, which is what, what makes us one of the uh, best, best offenses in the nation, if not the best offense. Um, so, you know, it's just, uh, it's kind of hard to like describe it really. It's something that's really fun though. And um, obviously uh, something that's really special. Anything else for Gonzaga? Last question. Uh, Coach Few, Doug Drowley, Sports Press Northwest. <clears throat> Excuse me. How, how can you tell us kind of how or how you feel like this season has set you up going forward into the NCAAs now? Well, I mean, obviously these guys have taken every challenge head on and represented themselves. Uh, Terrifically, going all the way back to Maui, and then even the, you know we were down a couple guys uh, coming out of Maui, and, and in that stretch when we played, you know uh, Tennessee, Carolina, where we where we dropped those games, and 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 so to, for us to be able to get through that stretch, and again the you know the Tennessee game was a great basketball game, but I think we kind of felt like we. You know, we, we did a couple of things down the stretch that, that uh, and they made plays. Obviously, Admiral Schofield hit some big shots, but um, uh, we felt like we were in a pretty good position to win that one. And then the Carolina one was just, you know, we were low on bodies, and Carolina played fantastic that night. And uh, probably coaching error on my part to, to, we love to run, but that was probably a night we probably shouldn't have ran as much as uh, uh, we did. But uh, that gives me great encouragement. The way we've, went through this league. I mean, I, I think the league's numbers prove itself. It's the best league out west uh, uh, this year. And for us to have the type of separation like we had all year, uh, uh, again, lends itself to, uh, you know, that we should be fine 
moving into the, the, the next tournament. I mean, from our point of view, I think we, we, we just wanted to hurry up and start. <laughs> I mean, it seems like when we got out of Maui, we were kind of waiting for it. So uh, 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 we're getting there. But again, the best thing these guys have done all year is every single game they've showed up and competed. They've had a high attention to detail. And, and that's really rare. Usually you, you have a couple games where not, everybody's not on the same page. Maybe the effort's down or, or, or maybe mentally you let your guard down a little bit. That has not uh, been the case with this group. So uh, it's been remarkable to, to sit back and watch it. And, and it's an honor to be able to be involved with it and coach it. Congrats on the win. We'll see you tomorrow night. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Joining us now from Pepperdine, head coach Lorenzo Romar, sophomore guard Colby Ross. Uh, coach, we'd like to begin with you, an opening statement, please. The first thing that uh, I just want to say is it has been a, just a joy to coach our team this year. The, that team that played for us this year just uh, gave us all they had. And uh, just every day came with the right attitude. It was. Win or lose, it was doubt. It was you know, it's tough when we lose, but win or lose, man, you just really appreciate appreciate the guys you come to work with every day. And with that being said, Gonzaga is really good. I know I'm stating the obvious, but uh, you know, I've been a head coach for 22 years and uh, was an assistant at UCLA. We won a national championship, and just I told our team before, I, I know what that looks like. And they are really good, really good. Thank you, Coach. 
I'll take questions from media members. Please raise your hand and we'll get a mic to you and let us know your name and, and who you are. Uh, we'll start with John in the back. Uh, John Crumpacker, West Coast Conference Sports. Uh, for uh, Colby, <clears throat> when uh, tonight when Gonzaga put on one of those runs where they score points and bunches just racing up and down the court, what is that like from a, an opponent's perspective? What were you feeling when, when, all, when that was going on? Um, when they get on the run, it's hard to, you know, hard to stop them once they get going. Once, um, you know, Rui is really scoring, you know, there's no, and you try to double, you know, get, they just kick it out to Norvell, Perkins, you know, Kispert. So, you know, once they, you know, hit two, three straight or, you know, get two layups easy, then, you know, it's hard to stop them. You know, that's why they're a good team. You know, they play well together, so. Go to Will. Coming over your right shoulder. Will Moppin, Mid-Major Madness. Colby, you guys are a real First time I've seen Tilly play. He's not just a shooter, he's a basketball player. He, he's a scorer, he can pass, he's very skilled. They can run offense through him. He's a different look, he gives them a different look than their other bigs. So just, uh, his return allowed the rich to get richer. Any other questions for Pepperdine? John, in the back. Uh, Lorenzo, uh, do you, uh, <clears throat> Can you see either San Diego or St. Mary's being able to hang with uh, Gonzaga tomorrow, wh whichever team wins the second semifinal? Uh, I'll throw St. Mary's and San Diego in with the rest of the country and the, the six field, whatever the six, whatever the field, 68. It's uh, whoever it is, 